FML. I'm a flop. It's gonna be completely unhinged in the best way. I literally look like a crazy woman. You know those like crazy cat ladies? We're with the bestie. Hi. Yeah, you're like, no, sweetie, no. Okay, so I uh, definitely uh, accident accidentally unplugged my mic. So the next 15 seconds, you get an involuntary voiceover. Um, basically, I was looking for a bucket hat. And I was like, where is this fucking bucket hat? Then I realized, wait, I think I have a distant memory of seeing it. Where? In the garage. Yeah. Like the hoarder that I am. There it was. Also, I just have to say, this is definitely a fake Chanel bucket hat. I would never leave a real one in the garage like that. Um, yeah, so we found the hat. That was a cute little mission. Then I was trying to figure out if I liked the orange shoes with this. I feel like it was a little too much. Then I decided on white sneakers and uh, it definitely brought the look a little more together. There you go. So my mic definitely came unplugged. FML, that's why I just did a voiceover. <laughs> Anyways, here's the fit. Shirt is white fox, hat is a knockoff Chanel, bucket hat, biker shorts, and off-white sneakers, so. That's what we ended up doing. Damn it, you guys, I keep. Mm. I'm a flop. If I'm being honest, you didn't really miss too much. You just missed me figuring out what I wanted to wear, and here we are. So it's almost like you really didn't miss anything. So in like an hour, Remy, Ollie, and I are gonna go over to TK's podcast studio because we're gonna record for her podcast. I'm actually really excited because we've never recorded something where all four of us are together. Well, we have on, um, oh no, we haven't. No, we've never done that. So I'm actually so excited. I think it's gonna be completely unhinged in the best way. So yeah, go listen to Making Moves by Taylor Mother Forking King. But like I said, I have an hour. I have a little more work that I need to get done. I am mostly wearing a bucket hat because my eyebrows, I mentioned that I got them microbladed and right now they're in the scabbing stage, which I don't know if you guys like, I don't know if this is interesting to you. I mentioned it in the last vlog. I think with makeup, they look way better. That's why they're like super sparse and stuff because it's like scabbing and coming off. It doesn't hurt. If anything, it's just annoying. So that's why we're wearing a hat because Guess what time it is? It's that time of the vlog, you know, where we are going to give a shout out to today's sponsor. You guessed it, it's our favorite. Casetify. You guys know I am obsessed with Casetify. A while ago they sent over some cases and I figured it's time to change my phone case because I've had this one for a little over a month now, I wanna say. Still love it, but part of me is thinking I should change it up to one of these ones. Do we do option one, green and blue, kinda cute. Option two, the dark green. Or option three, the wiener dog. So comment below which one. We'll see if I end up picking the one that you want. Okay, so comment below one, two, or three. You know, you have time to decide. I'm gonna decide in a little bit. But if you do not know what Casetify is, if you're looking for cute customizable phone cases, then look no further because Casetify has, I'm not kidding, thousands of different ways you can customize phone cases from the font, the color, the case, like so many different things. They also have their Chi Tech 2.0 technology. So you can feel so very, very, very confident whenever you just drop your phone anywhere and everywhere. I have never cracked my phone with a Casetify case and that says a lot because I'm very brutal with my phones. I just kind of like chuck them wherever. It is very hard to find cute phone cases that are also very durable and they have their military grade drop protection. So let me just say again, Casetify is where it is at. They're even like drop test approved. Again, so many different kinds of cases, so many different kinds of colors, fonts, every single thing you can imagine. And trust me, it gets even better because if you type in my link, all you have to do is go to casetify.com slash Alicia Marie and you can get 15% off your entire order. There's no exact like promo code or anything that you use during checkout. Just go casetify.com slash Alicia Marie and it'll automatically add 15% off to you in checkout. Also, their cases are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also feature an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. And their new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65 recycled and plant-based materials, which is really awesome. So I think I know which one I'm gonna do. 
If you guessed number three, we're going in with the wiener dog one, you guys. Like, I'm sorry. I literally look like a crazy woman. You know those like crazy cat ladies who have like nine cats? That's me, but dachshunds, even though I only have one. The energy this is giving is crazy cat lady, but I'm totally fine with it. Also, I had a fan DM me and they sent me a dachshund post that was on Instagram. And I was like low key embarrassed by this, but not because I stand by my, I stand by my love for dachshunds. She said every time she sees a dachshund post, she'll go to send it to me, but then she'll look and she'll see that I've already liked it. <laughs> My explore page, my for you page, like everything, the algorithm knows me. Like any dachshund posts, like I see, I like, I just, it's funny. Me, Ashley, and our friend are all obsessed with dachshunds. We have a group chat on Instagram where we just send each other dachshund videos. And the group chat is obviously called, I love big weens. Anyways, again, link is in the description box and uh, let's get back into the vlog and see what I'm up to. We're with the bestie. Hi. Is that my bestie in a, Range. Range. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently headed to the podcast studio to record. I'm very excited. Ollie said he's going to be late, so I'm not sure if he's going to be in later in the episode or if he's just going to do the next one. Oh, he could just come in. That's what, that's what, that's what she oh, said. She's okay, like, okay. just like, come in, pop in. We're going to be there in Hold three camera. minutes. Hold camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're fine. I want to set up Walmart if we have time <gasps> after. I would love. Yay! I need to that pod. Yes. Okay, TK, we coming for you. Wow, we got here so fast. Safe driving. How was Taryn's episode? So good. I thought for sure we would see her, but I guess it makes sense because we. It's so like natural like... with friends. Oh my god, like so I much love better. how it's on an interview. It makes me want to do more like solo and like just friend ones. I know. If you need a little, you know. You're my most um, unofficial co-host. I love it. Which is this time four? Time five? I think so. Four. Oh, three. You, you can only have three times for me. Oh, and then Remy and Taryn. So this is fifth. Remy, Remy Taryn. Taryn. Oh, you. Were, duh. I'm thinking of just being in the room. I was. Room. I literally. Thought, I was like, I know exactly what you. Mean. <laughs> Never like, mind. Okay, okay, this is. Yeah, you were like, no, <laughs> sweetie, no. Okay, y'all, we got groceries. I got so much shit and it's mostly because tomorrow we're actually having some friends over. We're gonna have a pool day and barbecue and Remy and Ashley's boyfriend are having a cook off, which I'm really excited for because I'm gonna be the judge and I just get to eat food. So we love that, but I did get more stuff than I normally would. As I put stuff away, I'll just say what I got. Fuck. We got eggs. We got some mushrooms, carrots. I'm actually gonna make like a little salmon salad. So I'm gonna put aside everything for that lunch. Got some salami snack things in case people want that. Salsa, some fruit, cilantro, zucchini, yellow squash, jalapeno, tomatoes. I got these little like Noka superfood things. Lemon, lime, bananas, avocado. Onion. I got this almond milk, which is essentially just unsweetened almond milk, and I'm curious if I'm gonna like it, so I'm gonna have that for my coffee today. I also got some seaweed because I fucking love that shit. Smart sweets. Okay, I was sleeping on the Swedish fish version. The watermelon one has always been my favorite. I'm not a Swedish fish fan. Like, fun fact about me, I've never liked the candy. I think it's actually disgusting. They're like hard, they're like not good. So I never bothered even trying the Smart Sweets version of their like Swedish fish. And <laughs> when I tell you, it's like my favorite thing ever. It reminds me of that strawberry like licorice that I love. That is so good. So I got some of that. Got crackers, plantain chips. We go through those so quick. Also, these tortilla chips by Siete, so fucking good. So I got those because we'll probably have like chips and salsa, more crackers. This is the worst haul I think I've ever done. And then I also got some pre-made chicken because sometimes I'm lazy and I just don't want to cook, you know? Anyways, that is my grocery haul. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this and uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, but wife me the fuck up. I'm not it being windy. This ruins my outdoor aesthetic I was going for. Um, this is, oh no, oh no, my seaweed. <laughs> no. Okay, stay, don't fucking move. Don't fucking move. Genuinely one of the best looking meals I think I've ever made in my entire life. There's lettuce, seaweed salad, salmon sashimi, 
kimchi, shiitake mushrooms, ginger, everything but the bagel seasoning, and then some seaweed that we're gonna put in there too. Wow. Damn it, I should have put cucumber and avocado. Oh well. Okay, now we're making the coffee and we're gonna be trying this almond milk. I feel like I've tried this before and for some reason I just don't remember if I liked it or not, so I'm really hoping I did. Got our coffee, gonna shake this well. Wow, I'm like, is it obvious my best friend is cooking with Remy? Oh, it's a window. I was like, what the fuck is that? Is it obvious my best friend is cooking with Remy? Because I feel like I've just been all up in the kitchen today. Are you ready for this shit? Oh, genuinely, like that is the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen in life. Honestly, like every time I make my coffee, I'm just like, Oh, it's good. <laughs> okay, it is literally, I think it's what, three something, four? It, oh no, it's almost three. It's currently 2.47 and I am definitely gonna go out later tonight. So I have to get ready no matter what. So part of me is thinking I'm just gonna start getting ready now because if I don't get ready now, I'm gonna be a slob and do absolutely nothing and just probably be on my phone for hours. So let's go get ready. All right. Not only did we do our hair, we just finished the makeup. Hair's definitely fallen already. Here's the eye makeup. Did it like super neutral with a wing. And then I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies, but they're the faux minx lashes. I trimmed them a little bit and I feel like they're so pretty. Like I really, really like them. Lips. I did MAC Strip Down Liner, KKW Do Nude 2 because I can't find three. And then we're going in with Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Polish in the shade Samantha. That's the makeup. Oh fuck, I didn't put highlighter on. Now makeup's done. We have Miss Remy Ashton back in the studio. Who are these dumb bitches? <laughs> Dad, you play at home. I wanna roll, I wanna run. Everyone's done. Circling, I know, I'm sure the singing.